Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And I got a good question here that I haven't really heard before, which is, are contract to hire jobs bad? So rather than reading you the email, since it's on my phone and I don't have a way to read it in front of me, I'll just put it at that. Are contract to hire jobs bad? Uh, the gentleman who sent me the email, I don't remember his name now, I think it was Jason. Anyway, he said that uh, that he got a lot of, he gets a lot of requests from LinkedIn recruiters that they're basically offering these, you know, six month contract to hire jobs where basically the way that it works is you do a contract rate for a while and then if the company likes you, they'll hire you or they have the opportunity to hire you. And that's, that's kind of how it's designed. And he said that these contract higher these rates are higher than his current salary so you know this is a good idea seems like maybe a bad idea so I'll you know I'll tell you okay so contract to hire could be good or could be bad let's first let's talk about the rate first of all uh, definitely check out my book I've got a new book coming out called uh, the complete the complete career guide for software developers I think that's what I'm I'm titling it. We'll see. Anyway, go here to sign up, and you can you can check it out, and you can get the chapters you know emailed to you for free. I'm eventually going to sell the entire book. You probably by the time you're watching this, you, you likely because there's more time in the future than in the past. <laughs> will the book will be out? <laughs> uh, if it's not, you can check out the blog posts that that have it. But anyway, in one of those posts, I, I break down specifically how to calculate hourly rate versus salary and what the difference is so you could actually compare the two. It's really not as easy as you would think. <clears throat> but let's talk about this particular issue. So contract to hire. Basically, like I said, the company wants to contract you first and then hire you and you know, usually headhunters work on filling these positions. So this is, is this good? If you are a hard worker and good at proving yourself, this is really good for you. If you're a lazy ass and you just want to get a job and you just want to get by and you hope that no one notices that you don't really know what you're doing and you're not really a hard worker and you, you're going to pretend to be a hard worker in order to get the job and then you're going to be a slacker afterwards, this is really bad for you. So you need to decide which you are because uh, this will expose you if, you if you're just going to be the kind of person that doesn't give it your all every day and just gets a job and then once you got the job, you say, ha ha suckers it's hard to fire me especially if you live in the UK or somewhere where it is hard to fire you uh, you know so yeah so that's that's what I say so let, let's turn this around and make this positive right I don't want to make this negative but if you're a hard worker this is a really good opportunity because these jobs are probably a little bit easier to get because a lot of people would snub these jobs they're just looking for a salary they're just looking for a con they're they don't want to be tested with this contract to hire it's it's beneath them right that's can be the impression and so if you want the job and you're really a hard worker and you're willing to prove yourself not only is this an opportunity to get a really good job but it's an opportunity to possibly get a better job right i mean how good is this right they're going to hire you they're going to pay you a bunch of money as a contractor you're not going to really be committed to anything. And then you can show them how awesome you are. So maybe what could happen is you could show them that you're actually worth more than the job they were planning on hiring you for. And maybe you could put them in a position where they, where you're in a better negotiating position than you've ever been. Because now after six months of you being a contractor, you're indispensable to them. Or you could turn down the employment completely and, and ask for a higher hourly rate and stay as a contractor. You might just say you want to stay as a contractor. You decided to, right? I mean, if you're really good and you really do a great job you could really put them in a bind where where you're in a great negotiating position now I'm not I'm not trying to be evil here I'm not saying you should you know try to put people in a bind but I'm just saying there's a great opportunity here for someone who's willing to work hard who's for someone who's willing to take advantage of the opportunity and 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 do the most which most people won't so it's a great chance to prove yourself anytime you got a chance to prove yourself take it right you know so yeah I like it I think it's good you know um, I could probably drone on about you know different advantages and disadvantages to it but I really don't see much of a disadvantage at all unless you, like I said you're in lazy ass and you're gonna get exposed but if you're a hard worker this is a good thing for you so anyway uh, if you like this video subscribe to the channel just click the subscribe button and uh, and I will talk to you next time take care